What's going on, Charles Bonston? Super quick video. The easiest way to chunk down your day is really just say, okay, when am I gonna go to the gym? When am I gonna be eating? When am I gonna be learning? When am I gonna be making sales calls or whatever your day consists of studying, going to practice, or anything else in between? So I pretty much chunked down when I'm gonna be going to the gym, when I'm gonna be making sales calls, and pretty much everything else except for learning. And then I started thinking about it, I said, okay, when do I consistently wanna be doing the exact same type of learning, type of learning, the medium of learning? So in the morning, when I'm not all there, I'm sort of there, because it's about 5.05, 5.10, right around there, I listen to podcasts. Why? Because podcasts, they're good, but it's more conversational, so it kind of wakes me up. I don't really have to pay attention, but I kind of, need to pay attention. In other words, it's not like an audiobook or anything like that. Then when I'm actually on a train and I, I have time to, on the train I don't actually, and by train I mean subway, or for you guys it could be the bus or anything else. So your commute to work or anything else or appointments, you should have a medium there. If you're at the gym, I always go to gym class so I don't listen to anything. If I was at the, if I was at the gym and I was just hitting the weights hard, I would probably be doing I wouldn't be doing an audiobook. I wouldn't be doing YouTube. I would probably also be doing podcasts. But when I'm commuting on a bus or when I'm waiting for something, I pull out my Kindle. So in other words, I go from podcast to Kindle because Kindle, I could throw all my attention at. Then during lunch, I have about, I take about a 20 minute lunch, 20, 25 minute lunch. I kind of want to just reset before going into the rest of my day. So I sit down and I watch YouTube videos at 2.5 2, 2 times the speed or even three times the speed. And then in the afternoon, if I'm going to be commuting anywhere for appointments, again, I it's New York City, we don't have cars. Well, we do, but I'm not driving them. Uh, again, I'm gonna be on my Kindle, on my way home, Kindle, and then I get home and I listen to YouTube videos that I did not get to that day. There's an incredible app called TubeX, T-U-B-E-X, and you can actually just listen to YouTube videos because the problem with YouTube, the actual app, are threefold. Number one is they have ads. Number two is when you shut off your phone, the whole video shuts off. And number three is you can't actually speed the video up. So you actually have to watch it at one times the speed. And then right before I go to bed, I have something, well, I didn't think of it, but it's called uh, light or uh, something off where you just literally turn off all of your devices, your iPad, your TV, your whatever. I don't have a TV. I don't have an iPad. I don't have my laptop at home, but my cell phone I turn off and I listen to an audio book and I actually have the physical book. So I have the physical book and I have the audio book and that makes me read literally upwards of a book a night, you know, because I'm, watch I'm listening to it at three times the speed and I'm just rifling through it, I'm taking notes. So in the morning, podcast because I'm not really paying attention, any kind of commuting is on my Kindle. And then YouTube videos during lunch, YouTube videos when I come home and I'm getting ready for that night, or I'm sorry, the next day, anything that I didn't cover during that day. And then the, the last is, so I'm like literally hitting all the mediums. And then the last is obviously audiobooks. And then I watch, I have it on a physical book. I have my blue blocking glasses. And I'm gonna be going into how I actually wake up at 6 a.m. That's gonna be in the next video. Subscribe, leave your comments below. I just wanted you to see the breath the, the entire bottom row of my iPhone is just learning devices. You know, I've, I've downloaded YouTube uh, in audio form and then I've opened it on an app called MP3 Player. So I, I downloaded audiobooks and other YouTube videos that are really long and I just download it just in audio form. I upload it to my phone or I transfer it to my phone via AirDrop and then I listen to it on my phone. So there's so many ways to learn. There's no excuse not to learn. All I had back in the day were books and I hated books like way back in the day and libraries. So there's no excuse not to learn. Leave your comments below on anything that you recommend that I should take and subscribe to the video as my microphone drops. <laughs>